Hey there, it's Ken coming to you live from DYC Studios in the heart of Germany. And as you guys know, I have been upgrading my home studio over the past summer and it's been quite an exciting time. Now, I'm doing this partly because I am creating a lot of content. I'm streaming live on Behance weekly for Adobe, which is really cool. Also, I'm speaking at a few digital conferences here and there. So I needed to get some new tech that would help me create crisper and clearer video and also really customize my experience when I'm creating content. Now, I can't think of any better tech to get than Elgato. So I got the Elgato Stream Deck right here so I can control and create some hotkeys, customize those shortcut keys and make my experience a little bit easier, my workflow easier. And then I also got the Elgato Key Light right here. So not only will I be able to kind of customize things with hotkeys, but I'll be able to illuminate this pretty face just for you guys. No, I'm kidding. But I do want to have crisper, clearer video and really have more control over my content creation. So that's why I got the Stream Deck and that's why I got the Key Light. Now, I know we probably can guess what's inside. It's obvious. It's on the picture, right? It's on the box. But let's see how it's packaged. Let's see what it looks like in real life and really check it out because I'm really excited because this is going to really upgrade my studio tenfold and make it even cooler. So let's dive in. Let's check these out. We're going to start with the Stream Deck first because it's smaller and then we'll work our way into the keyboard. All right, guys, let's get ready to rock this. Here we go. All right, so we got the Elgato Stream Deck right here. I'm excited to see what's in the box. But first, let's get a Stream Deck close-up. Stream Deck close-up. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. All right. Now, I've already started peeling off the stickers. So we are just going to slide the top right off. And, um, phrasing. And take a look what's in the box. Are you guys ready? I am. Here we go. Whoa. All right, that looks cool. But you guys need to see. Come closer. Come closer. Okay, so we have the Stream Deck right here. We got a little... Stream Deck Quick Start Guide. And I just, I guess it kind of tells you how to hook it up with the USB cable. And most importantly, how to install the app. All right, that's really cool. I'm excited. And you can like, like I said, you can program the keys and everything like that. But this is nice right there, right on top. That way you can find it. We have the little, oh, it's all connected right here the Stream Deck right here itself, and it comes with this nice little stand, which I'm not sure how to work yet, but we'll figure that out. So we just go like this, and then, yeah, we just put it like that. So depending on what angle we want the Stream Deck, we can have it at multiple angles. Most likely, I'll probably have it at this one. But right here, we got one, two, three, four, five, 10, 15 buttons that can be customized. Now, this is what I think is really cool about it. It is a really nice thing. We got a little bit of information right there. So it says easy setup, drag and drop actions in the Stream Deck app, tactile control, tap to stream, record, switch scenes, and more, uh, live media, launch on-screen GIFs and audio clips, instant engagement, tweet the perfect moment, and then it also says personalized keys, design your own icons, and shoes from hundreds. Unlimited profiles, create, share, and switch, configure, and fly. Compatible with your preferences, the Elgato Game Capture HD, the Tippy Stream, Twitter, OBS, which we're gonna be using quite often, Twitch, YouTube, XSplit, and more. Adjustable stand, okay, we saw the stand. And wow, yeah, easy, really easy. So I'm gonna set all these little buttons up and really kind of program my experience with the Stream Deck and get that going. I think this is gonna be exciting. Again, this is gonna be cool, just setting up your things that way you have hotkeys and really can control the content that you're creating and how you're producing it. This is what every content creator needs. Now pair this up with the Quick Keys remote from Sense Labs and guess what, guess what? I'm gonna be rocking things 
like crazy, and I mean like it's gonna be exciting how much fun that's gonna be. All right, now let's move on to the bigger box, the Elgato Key Light. Okay, it's time to open up the big bad Elgato Key Light. Now, some people will tell you that you need to have a two light system to get rid of the shadows on both sides of your face. And that's fine, that's great if you have that kind of money to spend, but these are not cheap. These are kind of spendy. But I can tell you, hey, there are all alternatives on Amazon, but you get what you pay for, guys. You know, if you want to go that route, expect, you know, hey, cheap is not always good. So I decided to opt for the Elgato key light. And then maybe later on, I will upgrade and get a two light system. And this is what I say, you can always start out with one light. And then if you wanna go down that rabbit hole even further, you can invest more money into your home studio. So my idea is I'm gonna start out with a key light, see how it makes my video different. If it has a big dramatic effect, maybe I'll add some backlighting behind everything as well too. But I'm gonna start out with the key light and then maybe I'll get the ring light or the key light air and we'll just kind of go from there and see how things kind of evolve. I'd love to have the key light air or the ring light. I think that would be really nice, but you know what? It's <laughs> a lot of money to spend. So I think it's okay to start out with just one key light right now and then work my way up and do something bigger and better if I decide to go that route. Okay, now it looks like the box slides off. So that's what we're gonna try to do first. So I have to peel this sticker right here. And, oh, maybe I can, before we pull it out, let's read a little bit on the back. So its brightness is a maximum of 2,800 lumens, adjustable. Color range is 2,900K to 7,000K, adjustable as well. Power consumption is 92%, up to 45 watts. The size is 350 times 250 times 35 millimeters. The weight is approximately 1,250 grams or 2.75 pounds. It is using Wi-Fi. It's in supported encryption. System requirements, Wi-Fi enabled PC, Mac, or Android device, PC, Mac, or iOS as well too. Okay, works with Windows 10, Mac OS 10.14. And you can, it has the pole mount and the clamp, and you can buy a base for this as well too. And unfortunately I can't read all the little things because they put stickers on this when they shipped it. They actually shipped it in the box, which is why I'm not turning it around because it's a big nasty sticker with my address on it. App enabled control, power up, adjust brightness, tweak color, temperature, and more. Okay, let's slide her out and see. Hey, phrase it! Whoa, wow. <laughs> we have something to read right here. This, I think, tells you exactly how to do everything, uh, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to have to zoom in on this so you guys can see. All right, wait one second. We'll be back. Okay, you have all the instructions on this big, massive piece of cardboard right here. You can see the setup. You can see how it plugs in, how it works and basically how to control it. Now, I'm not gonna read this all to you guys right now. This one is in other languages, so I guess this side is what I'll read. So it has to set up your key light, has the installation software information, and a few little warnings and things of that nature. But I think, you know, it will be really cool to see how this works in real. Let's just move this off to the side and not lose it. Okay, all right. Whew. Looks like we have a few different things right here. So I'm guessing this is probably cords of, oh, holy crap. What is all in this? Okay, so depending on what country you're in. Oh, this is actually really cool. Look at this. You can, man, you don't have to get an adapter for this. This has got, man, I tell you what, if I move to any other country, I'm already set because look at this. I have the plug-in for Germany, I have the plug-in for the US, I have the plug-in, one of these is for the UK, and one of them I think is for like a lower Europe maybe, I don't know, I do recognize this one, 
But, and then you have some things right here which I think are clamps. I Probably for the cord most likely. Um, but yeah, I can just like plug this in. So this one would be for here somehow. Wow, okay. Just, and then it says open. Okay. <laughs> okay. Of course now I can't open it. But uh, I will have to fix, oh, there's a little lock button right there. So there's a little button right there that you push and that will have to get it on off. But that's, that's real, that's, that's cool, man. That's, that's awesome. You know, I think a lot of us like techie nerds, you know, really want to be able to have this set up wherever we go. So, hey, that's great. That is, that's, that's brilliant. That's, 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 that's cool. That's insanely cool. Uh, that's the first time I've seen a company actually think of something like that it's in my experience I mean maybe other you guys have seen it, but that is cool. I can literally Now move anywhere around the world and my plug works perfectly. That's awesome. That's that's pretty awesome Okay, so we have the cords. I'm gonna set that over to the side we have the Oops this is pretty durable. Okay, We have the uh, mount right here, so the stand. And it is adjustable, it will go up higher, so. And I guess then you just lock this. That's actually nice. And then I guess this one unlocks and goes even further. So how far does this go? I don't know. I can't figure out the top one. Okay. Anyways, we'll figure that out. But that's that's good. That's what I need. I just need a little bit of height. And it locks down pretty good. Awesome. And I think I'm probably gonna have to have my wife help me put this on my desk because I think it's just too much. And now we have the most important part right here. The light itself. The light itself. Bam, there she is. This is a little dust right there. But you got the key light right there, the on and off switch. Now I think the, the ring light, and you can correct me if I'm wrong or not, has an adjustment built onto the backside, but unfortunately this and I think the key light air, you have to use the app. So hopefully the app works, but that looks pretty, pretty nice. That looks pretty sexy. You know, got the little uh, light right there. Turn this up so you can see the, you know, the logo a little bit. But that looks nice. I am excited to see how this works and if it really makes me glow a little bit more, makes me a little bit more crisp, lights my face up a little bit better. Because uh, that overhead light that's shining directly on my face is just not good. So I think this will solve a lot of problems. All right, there you have it. The Elgato Key Light, the Elgato Stream Deck. This is really gonna enhance my home studio. And this is something that I've been wanting for a little while. And I wanna have that nice, nice, well-lit video for you guys. And then also customizing my workflow. You know, why work hard when you can work smart? That's what I always say. This is gonna be nice. This is gonna be really cool. And I, I think, you know, if you start going down this rabbit hole of content creation, you can start out small like I did and then just kind of work your way up, upgrade, you know, then get the nicer things. And the more you get into it and the more it kind of has a benefit, then, hey, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. You know, it's okay to start out small. You can don't have to get the big things at first. You don't even have to get a light at first as long as you're well lit don't have the window behind you because then you're going to be dark anyways. But as long as you're well lit and people can see your face, that's great. Start out with a good microphone and a good camera first, then get your light and then get something like a stream deck and then, you know, work your magic. And then if you want a second light or a third light, hey, go for it. You want those backlights, go for it. But you know, experiment. See if that's the right path that you want to go down. If you want to create content and if that's going to be good for you. Again, I think this is gonna be really exciting to use. I am gonna love the Stream Deck right there. I don't even know how. Look at all those buttons, that's a lot of buttons. You know what, C combine this with the Sense Labs 
quick keys remote. Look at all the hot keys. I have hot keys there on this. I have hot keys on this. I'm shortcut city, man. Let me tell you. All right, guys, if you guys have liked the video, make sure you give it a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel because there's always new things coming slowly but surely. Uh, but you don't want to miss out on those when they do come. And also, you know, if you have questions about this, ask them in the, the comments. If you already own these and you have suggestions on how I should set them up, hey, also appreciate leaving advice in the comments as well too. I think that's really great. So make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you check me out on Medium. Check me out on LinkedIn, 6,000 followers and growing there. Check out Dusel York City Studios or DYC Studios on Instagram as well too. You know, check us out, see what we're doing, and it's gonna be a lot of fun, guys. And hey, I'm excited to hook this up. And I think that's it for today. I think I can't get any more into it. Really simple video, very easy unpacking, very cool. All right, guys, one thing that I like to say at the end of every video is, and I think you guys should be able to know this by now, is happy creating. <laughs>